don't come for me, please. But I have to be honest. Hello guys, welcome back. I am reacting to the Netflix dating show Love is Blind, the wedding episode. This is part two. If you didn't catch the first part, go and look out for that video. We are now discussing Brett and Tiffany. Okay, since the beginning, Brett and Tiffany were my favorites. Finally, a nice, good couple. Not only that, a black couple. There was no one even close to Cameron and Lauren from season one. Finally, we have our own Brett and Tiffany. I'm really, really glad, even though she fell asleep during one of the most important moments, he was able to see the bigger picture. They are ready to commit, to settle down, to start a family. They are neck in neck, my favorites of all the seasons of Love is Blind. I've said it, they are truly amazing. Tiffany, she's someone goal-oriented. At times, she seemed threatened by Brett's success. I was a bit tired of bougie Brett, but it was all in fun. I think she was just processing the fact that, okay, this is going to be my husband. I find that very attractive, a man that has good style. He's making a good income, I, I believe. This is nothing worrisome. He's sure about his decision. He is committed to this. She was very stressed. That was really hard for her. She seemed to be waiting for the other shoe to drop. He's handsome. He's respectful. He's intelligent, artistic, listens. He can cook. They are still good guys out there. Once you are in your 30s, you're not young young but you're not old she was 36 he was 35 society tells you for women once you pass a certain age after 35 you are really really up there after 40 you're old but i don't necessarily think that i understand though because the older you get the harder it can be to have children if this is something that you would want to do but i was getting tired of her always mentioning that she was 36 that she was older than the other girls i understand i get it brett knew her age let's move on he's also not the youngest he's 35 he chose her you can meet your life partner at any stage of your life she found a gem someone like him and he has dimples i love dimples he's handsome they seem to be almost too perfect they wanted that successful couples of love is blind the last time that they had a successful couple really was season one last season alexa and brennan it wasn't giving that couple the same as lauren and cameron when we were seeing the previews they tried to make it seem that there was some drama they kept showing tiffany crying stressed also brett didn't meet tiffany's parents or at least her dad until the day of the wedding i as you know i said in the last video i don't particularly like when the parents meet the spouse the future spouse the day of the day of the wedding the tiffany's dad came he had a talk with brett and he asked for his permission and this is where i find it is it's weird because you would ask the permission before. It would have been super awkward if he had said no right in the spot. So it is unusual, but the whole process is unusual. I was quite happy to see that he saw how wonderful Brett was for his daughter. I'm the same with her mom. She was really happy that her daughter found her equal her partner there's nothing bad to say about them i just wonder why he wasn't able to try his pants beforehand he kept on saying that it was avoidable something like that so i don't know who's to blame for this but he 
took care of that at the last minute everything properly tailored fitted to his desire i also find it very touching that marshall was able to come support brett and tiffany it was a nice touching moment i will talk about him later but yes brett looked nice tiffany looked nice and um, when she walked down the aisle he was very emotional he was crying this is the first time that we saw really emotion from brett since the pods when he was talking about what happened to his older brother he was very emotional since the pods he was very very chill relaxed seeing him that emotional when he saw tiffany I, I cried i really cried i love seeing love the dress on her it was perfect she looked amazing they both said yes we have an amazing black love representation and I'm all for it. I can't wait to have an update on how they're doing. A funny moment was when she said to Brett, we're going to go to the bridal suite, do our thing. I was like, whoop. It reminded me when at their honeymoon, Brett said, get on top. I felt the same way. I'm happy for you guys. Do your thing. That's my favorite couple. And yeah, nothing else to add. Next, Zach and Bliss. I'm rooting for them, but I don't like how they started. She's the second choice the second choice is never a good thing okay let's be real this is now for me a theory because i'm rooting for them i want to believe that she wasn't exactly his second choice if Irina didn't reject him would he be back with bliss i don't think so fortunately for him it didn't work out with Irina. I didn't think once you had made a choice, you could go back and then re-enter the experiment at the same pace, same level, and meet the deadline of getting married. It was very weird being the second choice. And the second choice after Irina, she was awful during this whole process. I understand that you cannot predict if you're going to be attracted, but I feel that she made zero effort to see if there was a potential with him if you have an emotional connection you would want to take it more seriously to see whatever connection that you had in the pods what was that in the real world shake when he saw deep tea he wasn't the nicest he didn't word it properly but i think he really tried to see if he could overlook not being attracted to her Irina from the jump she said he looked like a cartoon character she didn't give him a chance at all she should try to find out why she behaved that way during that experiment at the very first moment that she saw him she wasn't interested anymore she might have missed something good with Zach he was really interested in her he found her beautiful but when he said he immediately regretted it it doesn't doesn't make sense why he would lie i have a feeling that the reason why production gave him a second chance maybe he regretted it but they didn't give him the chance to change his choice change his mind i have a feeling that he felt pressured to stand on his choice when he decided to break things off with bliss and choose arena there must have been something different in his case for him to have a second chance and get back into the experiment with someone else this is something that's never been done in all seasons of love is blind i'm not sure how i feel about that now i wonder if they will allow that once you make your decision you should live with that decision especially if you go through the process of the honeymoon if you decide to propose you get back on your word and this is all before the honeymoon phase you should be able to change your mind once you went to the honeymoon if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out we know that the first season there was diamond and um, her fiance it didn't work out they left and that's it that's all granted she didn't have a second choice that we knew of um but i don't know it's it's just weird i'm happy for them that they made the exception because they ended up saying yes 
at the altar. They might work as a couple. So that would be amazing. Maybe they were already seeing some red flags with Marshall and Jacqueline. If Zach wasn't there, there would only be three couples to the altar. We have multiple couples that said yes, but in the past, it seemed to always have two couples saying yes at the altar. I find that it was too much coincidence, but this year it's different. There's more than two couples. So what do I know? But all that to say, at the end, I was rooting for this couple. Yes, Zach had a different background. His mom was a stripper. I find that ridiculous that people would judge him for that. It seems ridiculous to me. Some people are awkward. It doesn't mean they are bad people. I myself can be very awkward. So I can understand, but I find that it was uncalled for the way that some of the cast were behaving towards him. So I was happy that he finally was winning. He had a happy ending. He was afraid of not being welcomed. Thankfully, her mom was amazing. She even said, I will be your mom. It was really touching. The sisters also were very supportive in either side. Bliss's sisters and Zach's sister. The only thing that was against them, first, the fact that he chose her second and her dad. Zach tried to connect with him. Zach talked about his job. He was very dismissive. Bliss stood her ground. I was a bit uncomfortable watching them going back and forth. I cannot imagine even Zach. I kind of understand because we have to remember the process is very fast and she is the second choice so they had even less time time together. I wish Bliss and Zach took their time to build their relationship, went to the root of the reasons why he didn't choose her to start with. They are ready for a family. They want to be married. I understand that, but I've, I, was, I wasn't very convinced that. I was more convinced by Bliss because since the beginning, she said that she felt it in her gut that he was her husband. She said something like that. But for Zach, he seemed really convinced fence in the beginning that it was Irina from what we saw it was Irina this is from the footage that we saw anyways and I find it weird that at the end he's 100% with Bliss because Irina rejected him like it's it's not sitting 100% well with me but this is not my decision she's the one who's going to live with him she's the one who married him so I hope it works out really I really do I really do but I don't know if, it, if it's going to work her dad is not supportive of their union the marriage he was talking in her ear even when she was walking down the aisle he said to not settle that he hopes that Zach can keep up with her like, it was a whole mess like you could see her mom her dad you could see why they are not together anymore it was like a competition between the two of them I'm guessing that he has some type of authority because one is the dad but two because he has money I have a feeling that this is a big reason why and I don't I just don't like that type of people. I don't like when people think that they are all that and they should be worshipped. Nah, you're not all that, sir. With all due respect. They ended up saying yes. They seem to be very happy. I can't wait for the reunion because I see that Zach has a beard now. I'm not sure if it's a positive sign. The beard suits him well, but I wonder if he's still with Bliss or not. So hopefully yes. So we'll see on Sunday. The last couple is Marshall and Jacqueline. Let me tell you, I didn't know Jacqueline was that complex, to put it in a nice way. I believe that from the second that she saw Marshall, she knew that it wasn't the type of man for her. And don't come for me, please. But I have to be honest, I find Marshall to be a very attractive man but i have to say that when they, they met for the first time and he did the whole happy dance and and all i was a bit uncomfortable that wouldn't be my type does that mean it would be totally off no but it would have taken me aback um he would twerk on the bed i don't know if it's true but if it is that would turn me off. Does it mean that Marshall is a bad person? Absolutely not. That guy was amazing. He's, he is amazing. He cooked breakfast for her. Guys, I love a man that cooks. Myself, I love to cook, but I mean, it's always a nice thing and something 
that you can enjoy together. So he was really thoughtful. He cooked. He um, always was supporting her emotionally. She was complaining about her family and stuff like that. And truthfully, now that we know how she behaved afterward, that was a cap out. That was a total lie. She wasn't crying about her family. She just took that as an excuse because she knew she was going to dump him. I honestly 100% think that she knew that she was going to say no at the altar at that point. 100% knew while they were in Mexico when she had that big breakdown. She just felt bad and I think she was very disappointed that she didn't have the fairy tale ending. He wasn't exactly what she was looking for even though that he loved her and he treated her well he was too emotional for her that's not her type okay she likes masculine men i don't think it's the it's the only thing you know how she reacted when she first saw brett i believe that if she would have connected with brett which his personality is too laid back for her i think but the way that he's sure of himself he likes nice things but he's still masculine and i'm not saying marshall is not masculine but Marshall is more playful he's more I don't know how to explain it but it's not the same vibe I truly get why she might not have been attracted to him and it didn't work but I truly can't respect someone playing in somebody's face she should have been honest that's where i respect more Irina. it was harsh granted but it was honest jacqueline was trying to sell us that she loved marshall sometimes she couldn't fake it we could see it through the cracks when she was toasting to herself and then saying yes I'm toasting to both of us. When she, she was saying, I'm, I, I'm afraid I'm going to go back to my old ways. What does this have to do with Marshall? If you love him, you, you love him. Just everything. She always had something going on, something new to complain about. So I really was offended when at the end she said Marshall was asking for too much validation. You never told the man you loved him. It was just very, very wrong the way that she treated him. She could have broken things off with him in a more respectful way. And I get it that she was attracted to Josh for whatever reason. Josh I mean, they didn't show much footage from him at the pod stage. Maybe there wasn't any conversations that were worth showing or he was under the influence during some of these dates. I don't know, but I find it weird that they didn't show much while they were both in the pods. I have to be honest, I never saw that coming. I didn't think that they were going to be together. Even in the episode when it was Chelsea's birthday, they supposedly saw each other for the first time. I would have never guessed that she would have chosen him. It was not going to work with Marshall. But if I was her, I would have preferred to leave the experience single. Josh is not an upgrade from Marshall, from what we saw. Anyways, she was wrong. She didn't go to the dress fitting. She dumped him after saying to Josh that she was attracted to him. She didn't return the ring. She's very, very entitled. We had enough with Irina and Micah. She said, hold up. It's surprising how some people have no regards for others. She even said at the end, she didn't even care about Marshall. It's wild that somebody like her was picked to do the show. I definitely didn't see that one coming and I'm very very sad for Marshall. I hope he um, learns from that experience. He saw her as a project and I don't think that's healthy of him to want to fix someone. It is what it is. I'm sure he'll be able to recover from that and meet somebody that's right for him. I wish him well. As for her, I don't think her injustice is going to last. If it lasts, I think they're going to do it for the public opinion they want to prove something and they both like the attention they want some clout some attention and they didn't have she she said to just she's if he's looking for marriage that's not what she she's ready for i don't foresee them working out this is my reaction slash recap 
of love is blind season four guys what did you think about brett and tiffany's wedding zach and bliss what do you think about jacqueline and marshall let me know in the group chat in the comments i'm thinking of doing a video after the reunion you'll let me know if you like that video please like this video share and also subscribe to my channel i will do videos in english going forward but also in french if you want to stay tuned for my next videos please subscribe let me know your opinions in the comments take care of yourself i will see you in the next video